of Apple. Let's get over to Melissa and Bob, see what's going on over there. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, best start to a year for the S&P 500 since 1997. I know, and it's been a good start. In fact, it's been a good start overall. Europe yeah. and Asia have had China. double-digit gains, uh, as a matter of fact. So I've been away the last five days in yes, Key West, Florida, back. doing, um, doing research, research sure, uh, on the Eurozone the crisis. Key West is a hotbed of research in the Eurozone crisis. That's where all crisis. the ECOFIN ministers go uh, after their summit. <laughs> that's where they ought to go. And what struck me <laughs> was the stream of emails I was getting from traders saying, hey, Bob, have you noticed the headlines never change on Greece? It's the same headline every day, and we got it this today. Week? Greece's Papademos says major progress made in debt swap talks. I got that headline every day last week, and they were tra traders were sending it to me saying, look, it's the same headline as the day before, and it never seems to, trade, to yeah. change at all. Now, eventually, it's going to change, but the bottom line is this. The focus has shifted. It's not on the private sector debt talks anymore. Most of the trader talk commentary I've gotten in the last four or five days have been about public sector debt and whether that's going to happen, and even more international assistance beyond the $130 billion bailout that they're holding over their head right now. That's because Greece is, again, not even getting close to making its targets. It, the GDP is in free fall. They have no idea what the GDP is over there. So the game now is, is the ECB going to be taking a haircut. Now, did you see what happened today? Mr. Juncker, who's the head of the Eurogroup, the Prime Minister of Luxembourg, will not rule out public sector haircut for Greek debt. Will not rule out public sector haircut for Greek debt. That's the door open. Of course, the ECB says, don't even talk to us about it, but that's an important issue here. Uh, by the way, Greece has done great. You talk about the stock market. The Greek stock market is up 15%. So far in January, there and there's that old there's that old adage. After being down, how much? I'm just curious. Oh uh, gosh, 80 percent in the last oh, okay. couple of years. Really Anyhow, the, old, the new joke on the floor is, as goes January, so goes Papademos. So there we have the uh, <laughs> Mr. Papademos having a really good. Have you noticed the EU summit ended with a whimper, not with a bang? They got their their fiscal treaty, but there was no cheering around Europe. That's because its emphasis is on austerity, not on growth, and there is austerity fatigue in in Europe right now, and that's why there's no big years going on about it. Have you seen this one trillion ECB facility? That's going to be a big one. They're going to they're going to back the truck up. They were talking about the FT today, the one trillion dollar facility. I think that's going to be huge. Finally, I just want to mention about the drug stocks. Jim was talking about the good yields on these. Yep. Only only 5%, maybe 7% of the S&P 500 had yields over 4%, and most of them are in the form of REITs or utilities, but the drug stocks are all up there, the big names. So take right. a look. Lilly, Pfizer, Merck, Bristol Myers, all at four to five percent yields, and that's what pushing these stocks forward. All right, Bob, good to see you.